Welcome to KBHU Weekly Updates for the week of October 15th. I'm Wyatt Bills. And I'm Megan Kenny. On Monday, October 15th, from 1 to 2 p.m., leader Kevin George will be teaching participants how to Dutch oven cook in front of the Young Center. Then at 5 p.m., Weekly Yoga by Rec Sports will be in the top floor Young Center. And to Tuesday, October 16th, watch The Post and discuss it amongst others. Brought to you by College Democrats and Made by Cav. Humorist Michael Branch will be appearing on BHSU campus to talk and read from his work titled How to Cuss in Western on Tuesday, October 16th at 7.30 p.m. in the Black Box Theater of Woodburn Hall. Then on Wednesday, students can get free flu shots one day only on Wednesday, October 17th in the Jacket Legacy Room from 2 to 8 p.m. No appointment needed. Coming into Thursday, October 18th, a self-talk will take place in the Student Leadership and Engagement Center at 3 p.m. Then at 4 p.m., art faculty at BHSU presents Beyond the Classroom, a Geek Speak in Jonas 110. From 5 to 6 p.m., Rec Sports hosts weekly yoga in the Young Center. Finally, from 7 to 9 p.m., the Rocky Horror Picture Show will be screening down in Club Buzz, free for all students and $5 for the community. Interactive goodie bags will be on sale and buzz bucks are accepted. Friday, October 9th brings us to the 9th Annual Women's Business Conference at the Lodge at Deadwood in South, Deadwood, South Dakota. Registration and exhibitor showcase begins at 8 a.m. For more information and to register, visit the link below. Wrapping up the week, come and get scared at the Spearfish Haunted Corn Maze, located at 1078-4 Chicken Road in Spearfish. Admission fees will apply. Then on Saturday the 20th, the men's football team hosts Colorado Mesa University. Come support them at Lyle Hare Stadium from 1 to 4 p.m. The Haunted Corn Maze also continues on Saturday. Let's pitch it over to Hannah for a weather update. Welcome to the weekly weather report for the Northern Hills. I'm your eye in the sky, Hannah Peterson. We, are, we experienced some odd weather last week, so it would be nice to have some normal, consistent fall temperatures this week. With that being said, we are kicking off the week with partly cloudy skies on Monday, October 15th. Highs will be in the upper 40s with a low of 38 degrees. On Tuesday, October 16th, the sun is expected to break through the clouds and temperatures will rise to the mid 50s. Winds will be light, so this would be a great time to drive through Spearfish Canyon, explore, and see the changing colors. On Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures will stay in the mid 50s. The low will be around 40 degrees with a 0% chance of any precipitation. Wrapping up the week and coming into the weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Spearfish is predicted to get some cloud coverage. Temperatures will continue to stay in the mid to upper 50s. This weekend, I will be attending the BHSU football game and so should you. The weather will be great for it. Also, I'm really looking forward to checking out the corn maze and pumpkin patch just three miles outside of Spearfish on Saturday night. Well. That wraps up your seven day forecast. I'm Hannah Peterson. Have an awesome week, everyone. On Sunday, Bike Club will be taking participants on the Mickelson Trail by Hill City Custer to experience the fall colors. It will be an all day event starting from 11.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Meet at the Young Center Loop. The following week, Monday, October 22nd, has Rec Sports Weekly Yoga in the Young Center. At 2 p.m. on Tuesday, October 23rd, the Sexual Assault Survivors Group will meet. Contact Alexandria LeClaire for details in regards to the location at the phone number below. For now, there are no events scheduled for Wednesday, October 24th, but that may change as the dates get closer. Allstate Orchestra and Choir will be playing at the Branch Campus in Rapid City throughout the day Thursday, October 15th. Admission is free to the public. Then a Geek Speak titled Honoring Veterans Legacies will be held in Jonas 110 at 4 p.m. Weekly yoga continues later in the day in the Young Center. Lastly, women's soccer takes on UCCS at 7 p.m. on Ronnie, Ronnie Thighs Field. Into Friday, October 26th, Allstate Choir continues their performance on the branch campus in Rapid City. The Haunted Corn Maze also continues from 6 to 9 p.m. To round out the day, Yellow Jacket Volleyball serves up Metropolitan State University of Denver in the Young Center at 7 p.m. 
A hashtag adulting seminar is here to discuss things college students often forget about, such as home insurance and retirement funds, from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Alumni Welcome Center. The soccer team will be hosting Metropolitan State University of Denver on Saturday, October 27th at 1.30 p.m. Head down to Ronnie Thais Field to support our women's soccer team. The women's volleyball team will be hosting Shadron State College. Come check the game out at the Donald E. Young Center starting at 5.30 p.m. on Saturday, October 27th. Saturday is also the last day of the haunted corn maze. To wrap up the newscast, there are no events scheduled for Sunday and Monday, but that may change as the dates get closer. KBHU-TV takes pride in student-produced content. This is what we have for this week, so be sure to check it out. Yeah, I'm Jackie Robles, and I'm here with Anisha and Jordan. And uh, will you guys tell us a little bit like where you guys are from? So the company is based in Washington, D.C., um, but we're from all over. But uh, since we're a professional dance company, we're all on the and we relocated to the DMV area. Awesome, that's super cool. Great, and so uh, what did you guys do before stepping? Stepping? Well, well, actually I graduated with a finance degree from the University of Georgia, and before I started stepping, I actually was a financial analyst. Oh, wow. <laughs> so for two years after graduation, I was at a computer, working the numbers and budgeting, and then I decided I wanted to make a change and perform, and step back for was a perfect outlook. That is so awesome. That's actually super cool. Um, and so I was kind of like wondering how you guys started up with stepping. You guys said you were basically just uh, audition. How does yes. that process work? So the audition is a two day process. We have auditions every late spring. Is and really, you just have to have your passion and love for dance and uh, performance and stepping. You know, um, but also, we are all graduates of college, so we all have a degree. We work in schools on a daily, so we're always working with kids, and we want to bridge the gap between education and stepping and, you know, unifying. Yeah, them. that's actually super inspirational, because, like, a lot of us are college kids, you know? Yeah. And so, like, we're all, like, graduating with finance degrees, communication degrees, so that's super cool. Um, so what does a typical day look like for you guys? Well, this is our, our full-time job. So a typical day, like anybody else that would go to work, we start at 10, and we end at 5, and we're in the studios uh, working on choreo, working yeah, on our rep. Um, and if we're not in the studio, we are on the road, most likely. Yeah, so A lot of our rehearsal time comes in on the road, in the car, in the airport, in the That's hotels. Awesome. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of great experiences with that. Yes, especially because when you are on the road too, there really is no set schedule. Like we'll fly in here, we have to drive here two hours, yeah. we'll be back here, do a show, and then we're out. So it's very unpredictable, and we love that. Yes. So it's that's nice. awesome. No, that's great. Super cool. Yeah. Um, and so just like a little bit of superlatives around here, who's like your biggest jokester? Oh gosh, Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the newer guys in okay. the company. This is his second season with the company, but he is full of jokes yeah. all day long. Keeps us awesome. on our toes. On We're the like, stage oh as well. God. So it never stops. That's awesome. That's good to have them. Yeah. That's great. Um, who would you say is the most gullible? Gullible? Hmm. I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know. No. Who would you say? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I believe a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He wanted to say it. Yeah. 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 I like, I'm normally like, oh, okay, really? But yeah, it takes me time to be like, oh, wow, they were joking. Or, <laughs> got it. I got it. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and then who'd be like the most likely to cheer you up if you're having a bad day? Wow, I think we're all pretty encouraging. Um, yeah. Since we spend so much time together, we're like a family, so we have nothing to do but lift each other up. Um, That's amazing. We're That's in awesome. the yeah. airport, like I said, on the planes, in the hotels. Like, we're always together, so it's yeah. very important that we keep our morale up so that you guys feel that on the stage. Absolutely. That's yes. so cool. That's great. You're all best friends. Yes, we're <laughs> close. We're close. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, so what do you guys do in your spare time? What are some of your guys' like personal fun things? 
Um, I know this is kind of cliche, but I actually really do enjoy dancing. Yeah. <laughs> so in my spare time, I like to take other classes like jazz, hip hop, contemporary, just to keep my technique up. And I just really love the art form and performing. So when I'm not stepping, I'm probably in a dance class. Yeah. That's really cool. That's so awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm more laid back. So if I'm not dancing, I'm probably resting. Yeah. I, like to, I can sit back and kick my feet up and watch TV and yeah, yeah, just I'm kick it with that. friends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And he's a good cook. He's a good cook. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. A two. Yeah, awesome. That's great. Um, what are you guys' biggest inspiration, would you say? Um, I would say my mother. Yeah, is an, an amazing inspiration to me because she always encouraged me to keep going and to keep pursuing my dreams. Even when I made that huge career change, it startled her a little bit, but she knew that I would be able to succeed because of what she instilled in me. And I was so thankful that she was able to do that and support me in that way. So she inspired me to keep going. Also. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Um, I would say the young people. Like I said, we work in schools all the time. So seeing the young people's faces light up when we're on stage and just seeing how uh, they participate when we're asking them to clap and stuff, they really light up and that makes me feel really Oh, that's good. so awesome. Yes. Good. That's great. Um, and then one last question. What are your guys' future goals for Step Africa or maybe for some goals? Oh, um, go ahead. <laughs> um, I would love to continue dancing. I also want to bridge almost helping people um, with my dancing. So maybe some kind of nonprofit. Who knows? I, I could see so it awesome. being bigger and better just to be able to spread love and positivity to people around the world. That's great. Yes. I love that. Yeah, just continue to grow as an artist. Uh, Step Africa is such a unique company. It's mm -hmm. the first professional dance company dedicated to this art form. So and cool. so we have a special tie to that. Uh, a lot of uh, the members in Step Africa are part of sororities and fraternities. So just keeping that tradition alive and sharing what it really means to mm -hmm. Step and where, where the roots come from. So just staying in Step Africa and continuing to see the world and travel and be uh, cultural ambassadors. Yeah, so. like informing people. Cause with, I mean, speaking for myself, I learned a lot tonight, so it was really cool. I'm glad. Hey, I'm glad. We did our job. <laughs> yes, it was awesome. It was great. Well, thank you guys so much for giving me your time, and that was Step Africa, guys. Thank you. KBHU Weekly Updates is a student-produced program. If you have any suggestions for program segments, email us at kbhutv at gmail.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's all we have for this week. Thank you for watching KBHU Weekly Updates. I'm Megan Kenny. And I'm Wyatt Bills.